Native Americans will likely be watching the debate tonight along with the rest of the nation. But tribal leaders who met in Washington today say they will be looking for a continuation of the Obama administration's relationship with the tribes. Cronkite News reporter Ali Bice has the story from our Washington Bureau. Today was the final White House Tribal Nations Conference. Tribal leaders gathered to give their thanks to the Obama administration's efforts to improve tribal nation and government relations. Tribal leaders today gave President Barack Obama high marks for reaching out to Native nations during his administration, which started the White House Tribal Nations Conference eight years ago. The president told tribal leaders that much has been accomplished in those eight years, but much remains to be done. I believe that, yes, our progress depends in part on who sits in the Oval Office and whether they're setting the right priorities. But lasting progress depends on all of us, not just who the president is. But leaders of the Navajo Nation said they are concerned about the next president and whether he or she will continue the Obama administration's policies. Uh, a candidate that doesn't really quite understand what government to government means and what nation to nation means because we were here way before the U.S. was ever established, and that needs to be clearly understood by both candidates. Begay said tribal leaders will be looking to tonight's presidential debate for clues. And we want to see if they are, if one of them really understand clearly what it means, uh, government to government and nation to nation, trust, responsibility, and treaty obligations. But some at least already know who they're voting for. And so I'm looking forward to a, a Clinton administration, if I can say that. Uh, because I think uh, Hillary will bring, uh, continue the momentum that uh, President Obama has, has done for Indian country. In Washington, Ali Bice, Cronkite News.